What is going on? I mean, you're going to work. What, what, what is going on? I don't understand. We have food in the fridge that needs to be made. Oh, okay. And I'm appreciative. Oh, okay. Extra. Priscilla's been working like uh, the last six days in a row. So I was like, hey, I'll go in for you today if you want. Well, I jumped on that. <laughs> so she made me breakfast. She made me lunch. She got, The coffee is ready when I... Oh, sorry. When I came downstairs. <laughs> wow. Just show my appreciation. I guess. You want Doesn't that look good? Who is this lady? Right? Y'all act like I don't cook. I mean, you do cook, but... I'm, it's been a while because I, I've been Well, working. I haven't seen you do like, okay, here's your breakfast and your coffee and your lunch for the day, sweetie. Yeah. You know? Isn't that exciting? It, 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 she's I smiling. She's smiling. She's like, yes, mom. Mm. <laughs> what? Let me come over there? Or are you saying bye to me? Either way. Do you want daddy to come with you? Oh. oh, okay. I'll go hang out with you for a sec. Before I go. It's ready. She said it's ready. Come on. Come on. Can I get up? <laughs> Why are you holding me? Can I get up? What do you mean? Come on. We gotta go get our food. Bye, ladies. Love you. Bye. Don't fuss. You don't, you know, I'm just going to work. You would only enjoy it for like an hour, then you'd be done. Okay? Let's clean your room, girlfriend. Can you pick your pillow up? Put it on the bed? Oh my goodness, you're a whole mood. Come on. You want to go? Go ahead and do something? You want to ride in the cart? Okay, well, let's pick your stuff up. Okay, pick your toys up. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. You're such a teenager. Like, you want to do something, but you don't want to, like, get up to do it. Okay, pick these toys up and put them in the box. Pick those things up, put them in your box. And the yellow guy. Care, huh? No. What? You were saying you don't care. No. <laughs> About her pajamas and stuff. Yeah. I mean, that's this way life is right now. Yeah. Like, that's just the way it is. Her wearing those special pajamas keeps us sane. It keeps her out of trouble. Yeah. It makes her happier. It does. Because she's not in trouble. She was able to go up to her room. She hung out up there for a little bit. You know, like, she can't do that. Yeah. So... Sorry, she's in her pajamas. Not sorry, but she's in her goofy pajamas and she's loving life right now. So, 
Yeah, the, the goofy pajamas aren't a frequent thing on the vlog anymore. They were back in the day, but they just because they look goofy, you know. And we ended up we ended up getting like so many questions about why she's wearing. You know, like we've got a lot of new subscribers recently, yeah. so we have a lot of questions on why she wears her pajamas backwards. I've seen that one pop up a lot. Um, they want to know why you wear the goofy things you wear to bed. Well, uh, clothes don't stay on sometimes. We go through those that habitual behavior. You know, it just happens, and it's and it's constant when it happens. And it's not um, it's not a regression thing. And I want um, new autism parents to understand that your kids are gonna come, they're gonna go and do things and stop things. Phases, and then, yeah. Yep. And it's I don't want you to think it's regression because it's definitely not. It's just right now it's a sensory thing for her. That's something that we had to we had to learn because we even had like professionals calling things regression, and it's not really. Here's a here's the reason why it's not regression. She can put her own clothes back on. Right. You know she has she used to not be able to do that. You know, and you can do that now. You you're so good at it. I know. <laughs> but uh, these these sensory things like clothes, for example, that's not regression. These things operate in cycles. Yeah. You know, we see all these old stems and and behaviors come up because everything is in phases and cycles. Like right now, we're shredding things and tearing things up. And picking things apart, and it's all it's all sensory based, and that goes along with taking clothes off. So yeah, and you're 16, so you can't be walking around without clothes on. It's just not allowed. Uh, so, I mean, some adults do it, right? I mean, we have all these windows always open. <laughs> <laughs> so that's why the backwards pajamas are because they are harder to get off, but she can get them off. Um, so this this ensemble is something that's been working for us for years. We have tried all, that's another thing is everybody's like, well, you need to, you know, take that stupid thing off of her and put on some, some, uh, sleepy jays or some little keeper little sleepers. sleepers or like, we've tried all the specialty pajamas. Um, and they don't, they don't, they work for a period of time and then she just figures it out. So yeah, she's always gotten out of everything except for the things, the goofy things that we create. And if you're not in the autism world and you may not know, but, um, Disrobing is extremely common. We're very fortunate in that it doesn't happen publicly. It's only something that happens at home. So a lot of times it's okay, you know, up in a room, whatever. She can do her own thing. I don't care. But Priscilla was talking about how she doesn't care. I'm sorry, I'm just curious. Sometimes, you know, like I said, we don't we don't put stuff in the vlog all the time. I don't, I don't know. I think it's like an avoidance thing. More than it's anything. just, it's hard to vlog when she's wearing this all the time. And, and it's just hard to live. And I don't want to be, I want to be transparent. You know, yeah. like. Uh, it and it's been, and when we say all the time, it's been all the time for the last four days, maybe five days, something like that. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. You you know, this is life. And, and our job is to show life. Like, what life is like sometimes. And, and she's okay. Like, she, you know, she's not in any duress or anything like that. She's just living life. She's just living life in goofy clothes, but we love you. You look cute in your goofy clothes. How's that puzzle going for you? So, you know, we've taken a couple of chunks out of it today. Yeah. Lots of oral stems lately too. Mm -hmm. Sensory seeking, oral sensory seeking. You wanna go help clean the ball pit on Tuesday? <laughs> no, not, no, nobody wants to do that. Selfie World has a ball pit. It's one of our, you know, it's the swimming pool, the swimming pool room. Um, we hand clean all of every ball in that ball pit and then clean the pit itself and then put them all back. So we're going to have like five people, I think there doing that. Pretty quick, then. And we'll order pizza for everybody. It takes a couple hours. If you have that many people, it should only take a couple hours. So we're going to do some training too. Yeah. Do some employee training while we're there. This is the swimming pool in question. It now has clean balls. Gotta love that. Hey, you want to guess how many balls are in here? Let me know down in the comments if you can guess. This is an eight by eight space, eight foot by eight foot. It's, you know, that high, three feet, two, two and a half. I think it's two, two and a half feet, something like that. Uh, yeah, give me your best guess. How, how many balls do you think are in there? Let me know in the comments. All right, I gotta get back to work. See you guys tomorrow, bye.